What's up guys, it's Logan here from the Motorcycle Forge and today we're going to do some porting and polishing on this DT175 MX barrel. Right, so I've done a quick diagram of a, a side cutout of the standard barrel and so the things that we're going to fix, this casting here is really restrictive and this here is our boost port which is pretty much completely covered up. So what we want it to look like when we're done is it's going to be a nice curve up to the boost like that. And we're going to remove that lip there and it's going to be down like that. And same with the, the exhaust isn't too bad. There's just a few casting imperfections and we're going to have them all cleaned up and working properly. So this is what it looks like down our intake with the restricted boost port. And this is our goal. It'll be a smidge bigger. It'll be nice and smooth. And our boost port up the top will be a lot bigger and no restrictions around this area there. What we're going to use to remove most of the material, do all the hard work, is our die grinder here. So we've just got a Dremel, we've got a nice um, spherical burr on it, which will make it nice and smooth. And then we're going to go to a coarser sort of sanding, and then finer and finer and finer, and then we're going to polish it. The most important thing when you're doing porting like this, when you're using die grinders, which can remove a lot of material really fast, take your time. Don't rush, just be smooth, Nice flowing cuts, and uh, yeah, just try not to make any mistakes. Because you can't add material back with a die grinder. And on that note, let's get to grinding. These DT175 barrels have tons of potential. So pretty much the designer at Yamaha is like, yep, we're going to make this super fast 175 air-cooled two-stroke. And so that's where he designed, and then the barrel. So all the castings and the cast iron and everything are actually really good timing but then the aluminium behind that doesn't match up and they've got big lips and all sorts of things to restrict them and improve emissions and stuff like that which is super great news for us all we've got to do is smooth out the transitions from the intake to the cast iron remove the obstructions and the restrictors and then we've got ourselves a, another three or four horsepower and a super peaky dt175 just show you a quick update so this is about an hour hour and a half in the intake is looking a lot smoother transfer port up the top is looking nice and open i've removed all the ridges and i've just smoothed out the texture and it'll make it a lot easier to sand and polish so i'll move on to the exhaust now And this is what our exhaust looks like after dremeling. It's nice and smooth, which is good. And now uh, we're going to move on to transfers and then we'll polish the intake. This one will get polished as well, but I'll do that off camera. Right, I've just quickly cleaned up the transfers. So they're looking, well, the entrances are nice and clean. So our intake, which is looking super sharp right now, we're going to grab some sandpaper and uh, start sanding. After many hours of sanding, our intake is looking pretty darn spiffy. So all our walls are super smooth. You can see in the floor there, there's a few imperfections, but that's from the casting, so I won't actually be able to remove them. But so now I started off with 120 to 180 grit, and now I'm going to move on to maybe 400 grit, I think should do it. Now I'll see how that goes. A couple of things I would definitely recommend if you're doing the sanding by hand is wearing gloves because otherwise you may lose your fingerprints. The sandpaper that I'm using is wet and dry and I'm using it with water to help remove the material. Now this sanding took me about four hours. So if you want to do it quicker than that, I'd recommend using power tools. And there's plenty of wee attachments you can get to do that and it'll speed it up dramatically. I've just finished sanding with a 1500 grit. So this is what our finished sanding looks like. So it is pretty smooth and pretty, there's a couple of imperfections, but it's looking super good. So now we're going to get on to polishing. So I've got some auto sole polishing compound, got a clean rag and let's um, see how shiny we can get it. Now that we've given it a quick polish, we just want a nice clean rag so we can remove the residual polish. You just want to 
get that in there and because yeah you it'll come out black and you just gotta remove a bit more do that a couple times on each side just to make sure you got everything and if we've done it right it should be looking nice and shiny right finished cleaning it up so let's have a look at the finished result so that's our intake there completely mirror finish i'll lift it up to the light and you can see it's super shiny and i must say porting and polishing is probably the most satisfying thing to do in a motorcycle it's just to see the results like that is just beautiful right and a quick comparison so that's our that's our polished and then the other side exhaust that's just ported and isn't polished so i will do the exhaust off camera but that's all it's going to be for now so if you want to see more uh, porting and polishing type videos uh, like and subscribe and um that'll let me know that you want to see more stuff like this this has been logan from the motorcycle forge i hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you next time